So um, this is problem number three of the MIT integration B qualifying exam test 14, which is a definite integral from x equals to zero to x tending to infinity of the derivative of um, e to the power one plus x minus x squared. So it's a uh, interesting problem. There are two ways we may want to look at it, uh, just so that I think we have the ground covered. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and begin uh, with the easier method. So um, our problem is integral from x to zero to x to infinity of uh, the derivative of e to the power one plus x minus x squared, right? So same as uh, we can pull the e out. Um, derivative of e to the power x minus x squared. Um, which is e x minus x squared zero infinity. And so that means that we have e limit as x tends to infinity of e x minus x squared minus limit as x tends to zero of e power x minus x squared. Now this is very interesting. Um, some people may want to express it like this. Um, so re, uh, let's minus limit as x tends to zero. This just becomes e to the power zero, so which is one. Um, so what's important to see is that the denominator here uh, increases more rapidly than the, the numerator. The denominator is far much greater as you go to infinity compared to the numerator. And uh, it's easy to see that as being as this one tending to, to zero, right? Um, so this is equal to negative e. So in other words, infinity of the derivative of e1 plus x minus x squared equals to negative e, right? So this is the first method. Um, and for some people, it, it, it may have been hard to see that equals to zero. Uh, for some people, this might be something hard. So uh, the second method might actually make things a little bit easier to to see. On to method number two. Method two, on how we'll be able to solve this, it's we have the same as uh, we can rearrange whatever is under the um, differentiation uh, sign such that we have negative in bracket x squared minus x uh, minus 1, which is equals to we can now express this as um, let's, let's delete this. X minus a half squared. Uh, when you, so X minus a half squared is the same as X squared uh, minus X plus a quarter. Now we want to remove this a quarter here um when we have this sign here it becomes a negative so we're going to have to add a quarter to that negative to remove it and then we're going to add this one here because then this part here is the same as um it's the same as 
this part with a negative sign, right? Um, okay, so a quarter plus one is going to be five over four. So our integral now becomes Okay, um, and so we can say let u be equal to x minus a half such that du dx is equals to 1, and so we can replace dx with just du for now. And then uh, on the limit, x and u, when x equals 0, negative a half, when x is infinity, it's infinity. So, okay. So our integral um zero to infinity dx e negative x minus a half squared plus five over four we can pull this out so that we have e to the power five over four zero dx Um, so, which is the same as we are now in the u domain, and dx is the same as du dx du, so that this cancel and we still have dx, and then um, this is negative u squared and du. And we saw that du dx is 1. So our problem now becomes e to the power 5 over 4 integral from negative 1 half to when u tends to infinity of e to the power negative v. Um, sorry, we forgot the differential there. <laughs> so this becomes e to the power 5 over 4 um, and since this is we are integrating and differentiating the same function so we we get the same functions out it's negative a half to infinity e to the power 5 over 4 E is what we got, so this is the same as e5 over 4, limit as u tends to infinity, e minus limit as u tends to a negative a half. which is e5 over 4. Um, as you can see, when u tends to infinity, um, the graph e, and this is u, it's going to look like that. So it's going to tend to 0. And this part here, we can just substitute negative a half there and we have negative a quarter. Right? So this is e5 over 4 times negative, negative a quarter, which is negative e, because um, <coughs> the negative 1 comes out, 5 over 4 minus a quarter is negative e to the power 1. And so uh, from what we
we have the same answer we started with. So we've shown you two methods, and I'm sure there may be others um, on how to solve this problem. Um, I hope you had some fun following along. Until next time, bye-bye.